Hey guys, this is really scary no. Hmm. Revolution begins. Watch for what is about to happen in Nigeria as three prominent Nigerians move against bad governance. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. A group of prominent Nigerians, including the former Common, Common Rights Secretary General Emeka Anyoko, Yoruba leader Ayo Adebanjo, and the former Minister of Finance Ideke Kalo, have announced a new agenda to save the country. The announcement was made at a recent meeting of the group, which includes notable figures from all regions of the country. The agenda is aimed at addressing the country's many challenges and restoring stability and property. In addition to the previously mentioned individuals, other notable names in the new agenda include human rights activist Solomon Asomota, the former Akwaibom state governor Vitor Atta, and the former Nigerian Bar Association president Ulisa Agbakubia. In total, over 70 people have joined the effort, representing a diverse range of background and perspective. The group is committed to working together to address the many challenges facing Nigeria today. According to a communique issued at the end of the Special Assembly of Eminent National Leaders, also known as the, the Parrots, a group of influential Nigerians we a rally the, the country stakeholders around a new agenda during the Iberia of its leader, Ben Mwambweze. The communique, which was signed by the Assembly's General Secretary, Uluwale, stated that the group is committed to working together to achieve a brighter future for Nigeria. The funeral of Ben Mwambweze is seen as an opportunity to unite the country and create monumental for positive change. The Assembly made their resolution at a recent meeting at the Parrots National Secretary in Lagos, when they also discussed the funeral arrangement for their late chairman, Professor Ben Mwabweze San. The funeral plans, which were endorsed by the family, are scheduled to begin on Friday, February 23, 2024. The Assembly expressed their condolences to the family of Professor Juan Buese and pledged their support for the funeral proceedings. According to the community, much of the funeral program has been designed to bring together Nigeria's stakeholders in order to foster political reconciliation and the renewal of the country. The Assembly acknowledged the important role the Professor Mwabeze played in the political and social landscape of Nigeria and expressed their desire to continue its legacy of reconciliation and progress. They called on all Nigerians to join in commiserating his life and work. The Patriots discussed the current state of affairs in Nigeria and expressed grave concern about the country's security, the declining economic condition, of its citizens and the poor state of infrastructure in many parts of the country. The communique noted that the security situation, particularly in the northern region, continues to deteriorate with a significant rise in kidnappings and banditry. The group also expressed concerns about the, the seven economic hardship faced, the several economic hardship faced by many Nigerians and pointed to the need for government intervention to improve conditions. Finally, the communique highlighted the poor state of infrastructure in many parts of the country, which is severely impacting Nigerians' ability to access. Meanwhile, in another news headline, the Ogonis, represented by the Ogoni Development Drive, ODD, have issued a stem warning to President Bola Tinubu, expressing their discontent over the ongoing crisis involving the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, 
Yes, Onwike and the River State Governor Fubara. The group threatening to stage a protest in the streets of Abuja if Tinubu fails to immediate uh, in the escalating conflict. Okay, uh, thank God uh, Tinubu had already, you know, intervened in this uh, conflict between uh, the River State Governor and the FCT Minister. Wiki. Okay, talking about the those who want to recon, reconcile Nigerian stakeholders and Nigeria and everything, you can understand that the situation in Nigeria today has become worse. You understand? I recall that during President uh, uh, Muhammad Buhari's time, Nigerians were like, I beg, come on for a Make we get better leader when go come out us for this kind of hardship and all that and this insecurity everywhere. But today, hmm, today Nigerians are now praying for Buhari to come back to sit. So that means something is wrong as well. That means something is wrong. If Nigerians can say, "Oh, Buhari is better," we want him back. That means. Something is wrong. Nigeria is finished. Well, I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.